Studio Gano Art Family. Uh, if you got a question, hit us up on Twitter, Instagram, and all the other social media sites that will be down in the, in the uh, description below. So, today I'm going to be uh, showcasing to you guys my, uh, my Copic markers, the Copic markers that I use. So, just this week, I started to uh, dive into studying some of my Copic markers just to see which one which markers blend well with each other so this was during a live stream i was doing and th this is one of the examples of the paper that i was testing my uh, copic marker blends on and there are, there's like more paper than this but this is just one of the papers it was like the closest to me and so right beside those papers are my list of uh, Copic marker notes of which one, which markers blend well with each other, as you can see there. And these are alcoholic based markers. And with these markers, you can really produce some excellent looking traditional artwork. And uh, the, uh, the Copic markers can get quite expensive. Uh, the ones that I have, I have this set, the uh, the the D, the 72D copy color set. Uh, I'll be showcasing to you that later within that video. But I also have that set, and then I have a, a skin tone Copic marker set, and I have like uh, a few three extra Copic markers that I that I bought. You know, so. Here I'm just gonna like bring the uh, Copic marker, the m Copic marker set that I have, and this is the uh, the 72D Copic marker sketch, and it comes with a uh, variety of colors as you can see, and I feel uh, this is this should be enough to create some great, uh, excellent looking uh, Copic artwork, along with the uh, the two additional. Uh, sets along with the two the other additional copy markers that i will showcase later within this video and if you couldn't tell this video is pre-recorded so i'm just uh commentating over it and i'm just showcasing to you guys the uh the set uh i have everything organized in a specific way in accordance to what blends well I don't believe it was like uh, organized this way by default, but I organized it a certain way, depending on which uh, copy marker blends well, so I could have it easily accessible. Okay, so like these are the three markers that I bought, and uh, the three markers that I bought didn't come with the set that I have there, but uh, the three markers that I have is, uh, you know, one of them is Buttercup. I later like reorganize them so I could get uh, three of them into the visible into the camera. So, uh, so yeah, these are the the three sets that I have. Okay, so there was neutral gray, gray buttercup, and then there's mustard, which is what I use for uh, the uh, the yellow color or golden. Okay, and then I will I believe I will bring about the. Uh, the Copic marker set. Now, this the, this Copic marker set is for skin tones. Here, uh, it originally comes with uh, six different uh, skin tones. I just put an extra marker there because I felt that it was uh, it goes great with skin tones. And that extra marker came from the seventy the uh, the seventy two D set of colors, you know. So I just placed it into the the skin package just cause I thought I felt that it made a really good uh, skin color texture. Okay. And also, I'm going to uh, showcase some like really sexy uh, whiteout tools. Okay. So uh, this. So I have like a. The Copic marker opaque whiteout. Uh, I I don't believe is like it's it's useful. I mean it's it's whiteout, but it, it lacks the control. So I ended up you know just throwing that away, saying no no to it. You don't want that. What you want is a uh, a pen 
wide out, which not only it gives you more control because it's, you know, it's shaped like a pen, but um, it's wide out as well. So you, you have more control. You have more hand motions as if it were a uh, an actual drawing that you were controlling. So it's really good for erasing some ink marks and whatnot. And this is just a casual eraser to erase your pencil lines once you're done. And also Copic markers really work well with the the the, the, the liter ink. So that's also recommended to have. Cause uh the liter ink is very uh is very strong and thick. And I believe in the uh in the thumbnail of this video I'm I will be posting the uh the artwork that I use for Copic markers. At like the artwork that I did after my Copic marker studies of seeing which blends well, I'm going to be posting that. And I already showcased everything, all the Copics that I used here in this video. And also, uh, I'm going to be releasing my notes of which blends well, which Copic markers blends well, based on the Copics that I showed you today. So if you, you know, like some of those notes, uh, I'll have those downloadable in the description or you just com just comment and you know ask for it. That will be the uh, the video. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, there's a red subscribe button down below. You won't miss it. It's 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 pretty red. Uh, and uh, yeah, that will be the video. Uh, peace out guys.